DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey crafters, welcome to Tilescapes. DM Scotty here. Great to have you with me. Today we're going to talk about stamps. We've, we've covered this before in Tilescapes, but I've had some people that have had some problems. Uh, and I wanted to give a little more detail about the stamps and some techniques and tricks that you can do to make sure that your stamps are the most successful that they can be. So let's hit the table and we'll talk about uh, some other details about those Tilescape stamps to get the best tiles you can possibly get. So let's hit it guys. If you see my earlier episodes of Tilescapes, you know I'm going to use foam board for these stamps. And if you're not familiar with foam board, check out my Tilescapes number 23 and that'll tell you all about the foam board you need for this project. I've uh, cut a 3x3 three three stamp, uh, just like the standard Tilescapes method. I'm just measuring out a 3x3 three three grid here, uh, 1 inch squares. This will be the start for my uh, you know, stone texture. And then you know, just draw random kind of blocks into those squares right and you know you can do any kind of style or technique you want you know, as far as what kind of pattern you want then I'm going to cut it out uh, not cut it out of the block but cut it very deeply in with this cutting tool and this will really help you get that kind of uh, nice separation that you want for the stamp you don't want thin separations you want nice separations and then you can drag the pen over it and it'll kind of widen those separations right I'm also poking it with the pen to give a little bit of a texture variation. So here I've done the whole block and you can see it's just got the 3x3 uh, three three pattern on there and I just did the different stones inside that pattern. And uh, you know I poked it with the pen to get some nice uh, you know variants of texture on it. Now I'm going to pull the backing off all right, and carefully do that because it is fairly fragile when you gouge into it. And I'll pull the backing off on another, it's the same size square. And uh, here's something you can do to reinforce these stamps. You can actually just use hot glue on it. Whoops, there. <laughs> and just glue it to another stamp or another piece. And then what I like to do is go around the edge with the hot glue and smear it. That way it seals the two together, right? And water can't enter between the two stamps. That makes it a little more sturdy there. Another thing I like to do when it's kind of together is kind of widen those separations because really the difference between a bad stamp and a good stamp is how defined those separations are, how deep and how wide. So the wider and deeper the better. This is a tool I picked up at the craft store. It was 14 bucks with a, uh, a coupon. You could get it for half price. It's a nice way to uh, get an even uh, pressure on your stamp. So here I'm just adding my paint to it. Put a nice layer of the start gray, then I got some burnt sienna, some tan, and some light gray. I'm just going to push down on the tile here. This is a cork tile. And I'm going to use that uh, roller to get a nice even pressure. And here I've stamped the rest of it. Let's do the last stamp here. And you want generous paint on there, but not too much. And you see those nice wide uh, separations really help define the stamp, right? There we go. And I find the tile eats a little bit of paint too. It sucks up a little bit of the paint. You can also use this Silly Winks craft foam and it's actually cheaper than the uh, the cork. Okay, And I get the five millimeter wide so it's the same width as the cork tiles. And it's fairly sturdy. It's fairly sturdy. It takes paint great. It's wonderful. Okay, so here I've just cut my six by six piece here. And uh, I'm going to do the, do the stamp. Now make sure when you do these stamps, you turn the stamp different ways so it's not, all the stones aren't facing the same way, unless you want that. You know, with this random stone pattern, you want it to be diff facing different ways. And there's that roller I got. It's a nice way, nice way to give even pressure on that. And that's the, the craft foam. So it really looks nice on there. Uh, very cool. So push it on there again. So yeah, when you turn it, it gives you gives them more random uh, stone pattern, right? All right. So here's some other shapes you could do. Here's a three by three. 
or three by six, I mean. I like to do different sizes, like a half tile. Then I like to do a three by three. And there I missed that little one part on the end. I can just turn the stamp and beep, push on that corner and fill it in. Cool. And here's a uh, six by two. Okay. So I like to do these different shapes and then I can uh, put them together however I want, right? Nice. So here, this one is the cork. And you see it does give a little bit of a different technique. And this is the foam, okay? And the cork tends to absorb a little bit in the foam. It tends to kind of just sit on the surface. But it really sticks well to the foam. You know, don't worry about, about that at all. There we go. That should uh, help you guys with some stamps, I think. So now I'm going to do some wood floors here. And I'm just doing a quarter of an inch measurements. So I'll just go along the surface and just draw that. And I'm going to kind of cut it out, cut into the foam. You, know, you want those nice uh, deep uh, gouges. This will really help you get the defined stamp you're looking for. And then I'm going to just kind of drag that pen through. It'll kind of widen those cuts, right? And the ends, I'm going to kind of spread them out a little bit. And um, take the back off. Be careful now. You can see it's very fragile. It can bend. So be careful when you do this. And then I'll just glue it to the other, other piece. Make it nice and solid. There we go. It's all done. Now one last time, I'm going to drag the pen through to kind of widen those gaps. And like I said, deep and wide is what you're looking for on these stamps. The uh, shallower and the, the closer together, the, the you don't get as good a stamp. Okay, so now I'm going to do the wood. I'm just doing a brown on this because I'm going to do a, a kind of an interesting uh, technique here. So I'm going to push that down. And then I'm going to use this. While it's still wet, I'm going to use a lighter brown or tan. You kind of drag through the wet paint. And it really gives kind of a nice uh, look, I think, to this stuff. Gives like a nice hi highlight on that. Very cool. There we go. I've got the last stamp there. Just do that highlighting. Yeah, I've kind of put the highlight on it, and then I started doing this, and I, I really like the defined kind of highlight on there. So I started doing this technique. After I just stamped the brown, I started doing kind of a highlight on top of that while it's still wet. Because you want it to kind of blend in, right? Gives a really nice effect. So, cool. I'll be steady on it. There we go, nice. Okay, here's, you know, you can do different, so this is a two by six. And I kind of turn the stamp so it's not all going the same way. And you saw I did that on the bigger stamp there. Cool. All right, nice. Now just to wash them off, you just put them in the sink, put a little bit of soap on them. And uh, since they're all just foam, you know, they, nothing, you know, nothing will be hurt by the water. You can just throw them in the water, soak them in the water, and you're good to go for next time. These will last you as long as you need them. And just dry them off a little bit, and you're good to go for next time. Put them in your stamp collection. All right, so here, let's build a little thing out with the dungeon here. You know, and these are just the stone block texture. And that really, really looks nice, you know. I really think that's cool. Just so easy to do with the tilescapes. And then, you know, the other side is the wood texture. So, I, you know, I do the stone on one and the wood on the other. And you can build out a wooden structure, you know. And uh, there we go, very cool. Hope you found this uh, episode informative and helpful when you're trying to do these uh, tilescape stamps.